Thank you, Ashkan. And uh, I'm loving the stage up here. So, I mean, has anyone ever seen the movie Blow with Johnny Depp before? <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's interesting. It's awesome. And then you gotta have some off the street come in and see like altered states on the, on the and then see a big pile of, okay, anyways. Um, I'd like to take a moment just to thank FloatOn and all the team here behind the scenes for this production and, and putting the Float Conference on. It is a tremendous thing to have such uh, an effort at this stage of the game, creating this space for everyone to come together and, uh, and just share ideas and talk about everything floating and what it's all about. So kudos to them. And um, I also want to put a thank you out there to the, uh, the originators, the, the torchbearers, the people that kept floating alive during the darker times of, uh, of floating and when it kind of went down a little bit in North America, that is. Um, you know, they're, they're probably, I mean, I can imagine Glenn and Lee were having dinner and just be like, you know, is, is everyone crazy? Like, why, why is no one else floating? What's going on? And no, you're not crazy. I'm very sorry we took so long to get into it, but we're here now and we're, we're super excited. So, um, so let me uh, talk about our company, uh, Float House. We opened just in May, May 9th of 2013, and we have five Oasis float tanks. And um, in that time, we've been able to put through 3,000 plus uh, floats through our doors already. It's been uh, tremendously well received. And so you start with uh, you know, your vision, your plan, and you gotta somehow create that into a reality. So this is actually a shot of our reception in our desk there at Float House. And um, you know, our success has been you know, although early on it's still a long ways to go and it's very still early on in the game for us, it's been um, a long time coming. You know, we, we didn't just uh, whip this thing together. We, we put a lot of time, energy, and, and thought, my brother Andy and I, when we put this uh, project up. And we first floated back in 2010 in, uh, in a basement, like a lot of people, you know, first floated back uh, in those days a little bit because there wasn't any float tank centers around. So, and after one float, we decided to buy our tank. We purchased a Samadhi tank. And uh, that was a huge thing for us to learn, just about floating in general for us as, as participants, but then also how to manage a tank properly. And it's been a huge asset to help uh, with, our, with our startup. You know, we made three trips down to Portland, a trip down to Arizona to visit Nick and his team at True Rest. Uh, we spent six months working with our Ministry of Health in British Columbia, which is the equivalent to the, uh, the state level of health authority. And that was largely around trying to get hydrogen peroxide um, uh, recognized to use in our in our centers, and unfortunately, we we haven't got that yet. And uh, as only chlorine and bromine are the recognized disinfectants, and we did spend about four four or five months after that working with our municipal level of health authority to create the actual guidelines. So we have definitely been put through the gauntlet in terms of the health authorities uh, in that regards, and have a lot of uh, knowledge to to share with that. So it's been about two years in the making in one form or another. And generally, this, uh, this talk is about the formula that we've created. And I just wanted to make it really simple and touch on a few points, and those being community and uh, a commitment to, to excellence. So with community, for us, um, as maybe some of you have seen, online for us in our Facebook page has been a gigantic uh, catalyst for us. Like, as soon as we knew it was good to go, as soon as we got our financing secured, we launched our Facebook page. And we put a lot of time, energy, and some money into that page to develop uh, a population. And it's amazing how much interaction you can get and uh, discussion, education, which is such a, a, a critical part of this industry in general right now is being able to properly educate people just what, what floating is in general and what it can do for you. And so it's been a huge part of our, uh, our success. And it's largely due to that Facebook page that we were open, open, like, you know, we got all of our money back that we put into it within the first couple hours of opening. And actually, within 24 hours, we, uh, we were able to do about $18,000 in sales with, uh, with no social shopper. And that's largely due to Facebook. So if you're not into that game, research it and get involved because it's a huge asset. We also have what's called a float ambassador program. And we kind of took this from uh, Lululemon, the, the sexy yoga pant company. And, uh, Basically, they have a Lululemon ambassador program where they go to different communities and, and select influential people uh, within that community to you know, represent their brand. And so we're like, okay, well, who can we go in Vancouver and, and represent floating? And um, so we went around and we, we invite people in. They come and float, try it out. And then if there's something that seems to mesh, we, we introduce them to this program. and We let them float for free. And in exchange, they, uh, they talk well about it. They speak well about it. And we always choose people that are kind of you know, in the, in the same um, alignment with, with, what we, with what we are. So this is Jennifer, she's one of our um, 
Float Ambassadors. You can see her background as a nutritionist and yoga instructor, a trainer, a Brazilian jiu-jitsu champion. I mean, she's no slouch. And she also has 4,000 people on Facebook that are her friends, which is, I mean, you, you shoot tr tr uh, strategic people. You know, you don't want to just, um, you know, just choose anybody. You've got to really choose strategically that can help you guys, but also represent you well, and, and just being that true ambassador of uh, floating. And then our neighborhood itself, it's definitely, um, we're in a part of Vancouver called Gastown, and it's, uh, it's a very destination-oriented uh, community, and there's a lot of independent businesses there, uh, restaurants, shops, and companies, and so we've been very active about going out to our community, introducing ourselves, uh, giving them discounted rates on floating to get them into the tanks, different waitresses, and, and you know, whether it's barbers or whoever, get them in there to uh, you know, say, hey, have you heard about uh, you know, Float House down the way? And about, have you heard of floating before? And it just gets more people talking about it. So that word of mouth, obviously, is such a critical part for this industry and any float center. Excellence. Our tanks are, you know, they're so critical to operate uh, a high quality float experience. So we are like very, very uh, stingent on making sure every float is the best it can be by managing our, our quality of water, the depth, the densities, how clean it is, and having those systems properly in, pr in place. And um, that's where our background uh, within in restaurants has really come into play, uh, just developing proper systems to, to really make sure that every float is as consistent as possible. Um, the space itself, clean, calm, comfortable. That set and setting is a really pl applicable uh, thing to, to floating. So, um, you know, and we have this feedback form that we get back from everyone that floats with us. And they get to rank us on a scale of 1 to 10 of how much they would recommend us to, um, to a friend. And then also make any comments. And the one we get every single day is cleanliness and how they appreciate it being clean and how important that is for them. So if this is kind of reiteration from the workshop, it's still worth it because like, we get that every single day. And then our team, our people that we bring on, um, you know, they got to have the right attitude. They got to be able to do multitask and do the operations. And uh, you know, as the owners, we need to create those systems in place that they can operate the float centers at the levels that we want them at, but then also deliver sound customer service and uh, you know, be the guardians of the space. Make sure that environment is maintained to, again, facilitate the best floating experience possible. And then the last critical piece I want to talk about is just in general, like why, you know, why? Why are we doing this? Why, why do you do this? Or why will you do this if you're not there yet? And um, that's going to be a very personal answer. But make sure you have an answer for that question. You know, it's really important that you have something beyond just creating a successful business that, uh, that is going to push you in those times where you don't feel like getting up at 6 in the morning to go and you know, drain a tank because you've got to fix something or something like that. Like, you need to have a greater question. And my brother and I. <coughs> Our, our major reason why, and this is just very personal, and we don't project this out as a float house thing at all, but our reasons is to expand consciousness. That's why we're doing this, and to just generate, give people an experience that they can try to generate greater self-awareness and have, have that really personal experience, I and mean, whatever that is for them. And so float house, we've designed it to be the canvas. You know, we don't put a lot behind um, what it should look like or what it needs to look like or what your experience will be like. We set them up technically for success. We, uh, we give them the space and then we, we do give them the little tips they need to make their experience the best possible. And when you're the first float center in a new area, you're going to be hosting like thousands of people's first floats ever. And so that's super important that you deliver on that. And um, on that note, the last thing I just want to say is we, if any of this resonated with you and you guys want to talk about this, we are going to be launching some franchises soon. And I know that's not for everybody, and even that word might scare people or make them cringe like, ooh, that's an, that's an ugly word. Well, we're coming from a very good place of we want to do, we just want to expand this as much as possible, and we've learned a lot through this process, and we're still learning every day. But this is something that we feel um, we can definitely contribute to the float community. And if it's not something you're resonating with, we still hope we can work with everyone in one form or another, definitely at the conferences. Enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you very much. Have a great day.